Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy, happy Sunday. Thanks for joining us. United at Home. My name is Adam. This is my wife, Leslie. Hi, everyone. And uh, it was a TV show in the uh, in the 70s. Uh -huh. It's called Welcome Back, Carter. Come on, yes. somebody. Welcome and the song went, Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome Probably back. Probably above a lot of... Yeah, but it's still a great it. song. <laughs> still a great. You can find it on YouTube. Do whatever you need to do. Anyway, I digress. I'm just so excited to be together this morning. Yeah. We, we, we got so much going on in the life of our church. Like there's so many things yeah. happening. We're getting, and we're gonna share some of that with you today, right? We're gonna share some of that with you today. It's on our heart, it's bubbling over if you can't tell. And we, we just wanna put you in the know of all that's going on. But we want you to start planning and start praying and start thinking and start considering about, about how you wanna gather with us. We're going back to physical, in-person in, in gatherings. We're still gonna stream online. So you'll be able to, if you don't want to come out, you'll be able to watch it online. But we'd love for you just to pray and consider and think about how you want to enter into this next season. And that's all, that's really what yeah. we're going to talk about this morning with you. So yeah. we're super pumped. We're super excited. How can we get the most out of this online service this morning? Yes. Well, remove all distractions. It's you know. time for church. So clear some space in your living room or whether you're watching from your car or at work, make space, carve out time because it's time for church. That's a good way to put it. Make space, like make room, make, make room for, for mm -hmm. the word of the Lord this morning That's to right. do something in your heart. Make room in your mind, like maybe you're stressed, maybe you're, you're at your max mm -hmm. and you just need to pause, hit the pause button right now yeah. and make some space so that you can make sure that you're receiving and hearing from God. Anyway, second way, number two, number two thing that we say, we have a saying in our church, note takers are history makers. Yep. And we believe that these words, these times, these moments are so important. And we want to impart something into mm -hmm. your heart. We want to impart something into your life. We want to give you some Bible. Come on, somebody. Yep. We want to give you some scripture. We want to give you some points. We work so hard to have great content to help you grow, yeah. whether it's just it's strengthening your spirit or growing in your leadership or, or growing just as a better dad or, or mom mm -hmm. or boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. son, daughter, whatever it is. Yep. We want you to hang on to these things so you can remember them for later on. That's right. So write it down. You might need it later on. And lastly, we want you to engage. Yeah. We want to know that you're here. We want to know where you're Drop watching. Drop it in the comments. Uh, tell, let us know where you're watching from because they're not just people from Richmond or Virginia, but we know there's people in NYC and in Florida watching. Wherever you are, we want to know where you are. So put a high five emoji, a hello, whatever, and just let us know where you're watching from. Yeah, and share the video. Like, yeah. share it. But if you're on Facebook, you can share it with your friends. Let them know that it's time for church. Let them know that church is a priority in your life. Yeah and that you're making room to be at church on Sunday morning and you'd love for them to join you yeah. virtually. We, we want you to start doing that per, per in person, like start yeah. inviting people out. We got a lot of big plans, a lot of things planned, mm -hmm. and we want you to be the biggest part of all that. Come on, That's somebody. Right. So like, share, comment, engage. Yeah. Let us know where you're watching from. Drop some comments. And say, I'm new here. Someone, one of our, our team members will respond to you. Yeah. We have connect cards. Yeah. We have prayer cards. We have everything that you can imagine to get you connected and to help you engage. So we love you so much. We're super, yeah. super excited. We yeah. have an amazing time of worship planned. A couple of songs just to get your spirit right. Come yes. on, somebody. Come I love on. me some worship. And then we're going to get into the word. So, Les, why don't you pray for Amen. us yes. and get us going this morning? All right. Well, Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. And we are going to rejoice and we're going to yeah. be glad in it. No matter what comes our way, Father, we are making time for you right now. And so, Lord, we ask that you would bless this time, that your word would just come right through the, the screen, that your spirit would go right through the screen, right into people's homes and into their hearts. And we just thank you for all that you're going to do through our time of worship and the word. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. Amen. amen and amen. amen. We love you guys. Let's get ready to worship. Hey, good morning, United Church. Thank you so much for joining us for United at Home. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday morning so far. We're so excited and thrilled to get into some worship today, spending some time just really, really focusing in on the promises of God. 
the, the beautiful, wonderful things that have been promised to those of us who call God our Heavenly Father, who call Jesus our Savior. So we invite you to sing along right where you're at at home. Join in with us.
Good morning from me and Pastor Leslie. We're here together. Come on, somebody. Make some noise. So excited to be together. Y'all make some noise. Come on, let somebody know what's up. Super excited to be together this morning. And Leslie and I just really want, we wanted to share from our heart. Just talk about some of the things we're in the series, God of Promise. And there's a lot of promises that we've been walking into, we've been walking through, that we've been trying to activate, and some of us are getting a little burnt out, a little frustrated, right? When you feel like the promises are coming, but they're taking a long time to get there. Come on, somebody. 
it gets a little frustrating. It could be easy to lose your courage. It could be easy to, to start walking in doubt and, and, and thinking, man, this thing's never going to happen. I'm not good enough. I'm this, I'm that, all this kind of stuff. He, here's where I want to start us this morning. I want to ask you a question. And this is where I want us. I want to start us because we got a lot of plans. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We got a lot of plans, United Church. There's a lot of things over the next six weeks that are going to be happening in our church, and our our mission, our our vision, our mission has never been more simple than it is right now. We're called to love God and unite people. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Love God and unite people. That means we need you. Come on, somebody. Drop it in the comments below. Come on, Dream Teamers, we need you. Yes. We're better united. We, we're, we're, we're better when we're doing this together, right? It feels so much better to give another person a high five than to give yourself a high five. I'm doing it, right? But when Pastor Leslie and I do it, it feels a lot better. Here's the question I want to ask you. This is where I want us to start. I want us to be real. I want us to keep it 100. Come on, somebody. I want to ask you this question. What are you trusting God for? Yeah. What are you trusting God for? Here's the thing. I want to blow your mind. You're in church. Come on, somebody. I don't, I don't know why, why you're here, why you're on here. I, I can only hope and I can only pray that you're, you're, you're thirsting for a right relationship with God. You want more of God in your life. You want God to move or God to do something in your life is the reason that you're here. So what are you trusting God for? What are you trusting him for? Are you trusting God for a better life? Are you trusting God for a relationship? You're, you, you're lonely. You've been single for a long time and you're hoping for Mr. Right to come along. Are you hoping for Mrs. Right to come along? Are you trusting for a relationship? Are, are you trusting for more money? Do, 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 are you hoping for more? If I only, only if I had more money, life would be better. Life would be easier. Things would be better. Or are you trusting for more health? Man, this, this coronavirus thing, I, 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 I'm, I'm still afraid. I'm, I'm still scared. I'm still hoping that I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get through this. Or maybe you're struggling with something else in your life that's affecting your health, stress, anxiety, fear, doubt, whatever it is. Listen to this scripture in Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Who's him? Him's God. And he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. Come on, somebody. I'm going to go back to my original question. What are you trusting God for? Maybe you've been walking with the Lord for an extended period of time. Maybe you've been doing this Christian thing for a while and nothing in your life is changing. Nothing in your life has changed. Last 10 months, come on, somebody. Last 10 months have been crazy. We had to ask ourselves about four months into the pandemic, what are we trusting God for? Am I trusting God just for a better life? Am I trusting God for a relationship or relationships? Am I trusting God for more money? We made a decision or we asked ourselves this hard question and we came to the conclusion that we're trusting God to lead us to the next level. Come on, somebody. We're trusting God to lead us into the fullness of what he has for us, not for more of what I want, not for just things and just stuff, but we're trusting God to lead us into the fullness of the life that he wants for us. Here's, here's something that you need to lean into and you need to understand this morning, that you need to understand today the reward is not a thing. The reward is more of God. Come on, somebody. Somebody drop that in the comments below. The reward is just not a thing. The reward is not more money. The reward is not a title or a job description. The reward is God. He is 
the reward. We made a decision that we weren't going to give up unless God told us to. We made a decision that we were going to put all our trust in God. We were going to do what this verse says. We weren't going to lean on our own understanding because our own understanding said we don't have a church home anymore. We don't have a place to meet. We, we lived in a little, little tiny brick rancher in the city. And we're moving our couches and we're barricading our kids inside their rooms to film church services inside our living room. We weren't willing to give up unless God said, but there was a decision that we made. I'm asking you to make a decision this morning. What are you trusting God for? Because over the next six weeks... We're, we're getting back to it. Come on, somebody. We are getting back to it. We're, yeah. we're, we're going to start meeting physically again at our new church home. As a matter of fact, I'm happy to announce this morning that April 4th, Easter Sunday, we're going live. Let's go, somebody. Come on, y'all. Make some noise in the room. Let's go make some noise in the room. We're going live. April 4th, Easter Sunday, we are going to have our first in-person gathering in almost a year. Yeah. Come on, somebody. In almost a year. We're going to be meeting at our facility outside. We're throwing a big Resurrection Sunday party. Come on, somebody. And here's the question. What are you going to do? How are you going to lean in? Because it's time to move past being a consumer and start being a contributor. Come on, somebody. It's the word that the Lord's put in our hearts. Some of you are so down. Some of you are so worried. Some of you are so stuck in a rut because we've all gotten used to, during this pandemic, being consumers and not being contributors. Yeah. We, we've gotten used to watching. That's right. Right? We've gotten used to, to listening and, and, and tuning in whenever it's convenient for us. Yeah. And I believe that in this next season, God wants to give you what you're trusting him for, but if you have to contribute. Right. You have to participate. You have to get involved. You might be saying, PA, I, I don't know. You don't know what I've been going through. You don't know what I've been experiencing. We, we want to talk to you about it. The Lord's put some stuff in our heart that we want to talk to you about. But before we move further, I want to move you into this verse here in Matthew chapter 7. This is what it says. And I, I hope it speaks to you. I hope it resonates to you. I hope it ministers to your heart. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you, then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children... How much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? God wants to bless you. Come on, somebody. Drop it in the comments below. Say, God wants to bless me. God wants to bless you. But there's a recipe here. There's a secret. You need to do something. I need to do something. Yes, we just read it right here. You need to ask. Come on, somebody. What's coming out of your mouth? What are you saying? What are you speaking? You could say you trust in the Lord. But trusting and doing are two different things. Right. There has to be the point in your walk with the Lord where you move past words and you start to seek. Mm -hmm. Ask. Speak it. God, I, I want to serve you. God, I've given you my life. Uh, many of us have gotten to this stage and stayed here. Yeah. Many of us have, co have come right here to the ask stage, but we've never left. We've said, God, I want you in my life. God, you're the Lord of my life. God, I give you my life. God, I surrender my life. And we've never taken another step past that. We're going to start baptisms. We're starting a whole new growth track, a discipleship program to help you live your best life. It's time to move past talk and start to seek, right? What, do, what does seeking mean? Seeking has to do with your perspective. Seeking has to do with the way you see things. Seeking has to do with your active advancement, right? When you're seeking, you're moving, you're looking for something, you're actively pursuing, actively doing things. Some of us, we're in that place where we're actively seeking and actively looking for things. Well, guess what? 
we got some things. Come on, somebody. We got some things as we get ready to relaunch and regather. We're still going to stay virtual. We need people on both sides. Come on, somebody. We need people on both sides. People, men and women that are willing to step up and say, hey, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm ready to come out. I, I'm, I'm okay with in-person gatherings. I want to help. I want to start to serve the body. I want to forget about myself and start focusing on other people. Come on, somebody. I want to forget about me and focus on the we. I want to get involved with the body. We need people to say, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm staying virtual, but you're right. It's time that I got more involved. We need online people helping behind with production, with different things. It's your season. Come on, somebody. It's your season. What have you been trusting God for? Here's the third step that he says you need to knock. What does knock mean? Now, what do you, how do you knock? You knock with your hands. You get involved. Come on, somebody. Your hands, your approach, your work. You, you, you've been frustrated because your work has all been all about you. It's time to get, back, get, get ready to work for the kingdom. Come on, somebody. It's time to get ready. To, you know, there's a season that, that you, you, you're getting filled, and there's a season that God's doing in you and talking to you. But if that's all it ever is, there, there has to be a season of you getting involved, a season of you pouring out, a season of you doing stuff to get all that God has for you. I want to let somebody know this morning that God's been getting you ready for what's already ready for you. Come on, somebody. Drop that in the comments below. God's been getting you ready for what's already ready for you. I'm going to say it one more time because that's, that's tweetable material right there. God's been getting you ready for what's already ready for you. God's been getting you ready. You don't think that, you, you think that it's never going to happen or that you've been sitting around or it, it, there's, it, there can't be anything else. I want to let you know that there is something else. Destiny is where preparation and opportunity meet. Come on, somebody. Destiny is where preparation and opportunity meet, and we're there. We are right there, and God wants to do so much more in your heart, in your life. I'm about to tag, tag my wife in. <laughs> hey, babe, come bring him a word. Speak to him. Tell him what's on your heart. We love you guys so much. We're just fired up. We, God's been speaking to our hearts, and we, yeah. wanted, we, we wanted to just share what was on our heart to you. Yeah, we all that talk about WrestleMania last week. Come <laughs> on. It stayed with it. I know. We're tagging in. Amen. We're tagging in. Amen. Well, it is an honor to be here and um, to be preaching and talking to you guys. Put this right now. Drop this in the comments below. There is more. And if Come there's on, somebody tonight. sitting next to you yeah. right now, tap them on the shoulder. There look is them more. eye to eye. There is there's a more. more. There is more. There is more. And that reminds me of um, dinners at our house. If anyone has ever been to our house for dinner, they know that PA loves to throw down. He loves to cook, he loves to eat, <laughs> and we all love to eat too. But he will bring everything out in courses. And so we eat and we get full, and we're like, okay, it's, it's done, whatever. And he comes right out with another platter. There there's more. more. And on, we somebody. finish it, and then there's, there's more. more. There's always more food at the Martino household. But guess what? There is more in the kingdom of God. Yeah, so good. There is so, so much good. more. And one of his promises, talking about the promises of God, is found in Ephesians 3, 14 through 21. And I'm going to read that to you. So bear with me. I bow in prayer to the Father because of my work among you. From the Father, every family in heaven and on earth gets its name. Guess what? We are the family We're of family. God. We yeah, are his family. So I good. pray that he will use his glorious riches, and he's got a lot of it. He owns a cattle on a thousand yeah, hills. He on. owns so much to make you strong. May his Holy Spirit give you his power deep down inside of you not just on the surface not just hey this feels good but god's holy spirit deep inside of you yeah. then christ will live in your hearts because you believe in him and i pray that your love will have deep roots deep roots when so when those storms come yeah, you're good. not knocked and you're not swayed but deep down into the ground deep down into god's promises 
I pray that it will have a strong foundation. May you have power together, together with all of the Lord's holy people yeah. to understand Christ's love together in this house, yeah. together at Come United on. Church. Let's Come go. on. May you know how wide and long and how deep it is. And may you know his love, even though it cannot be known completely. We don't, God loves us so much we can't even comprehend it. Then you will be filled with everything God has for you. And this is the part where I want you to really lean in. God is able to do far more, yeah. more than we could ever ask for or imagine. And here's something that, that God spoke to my heart. He doesn't have to do it. Yeah, it's good. He's able to do it. Yeah. But he doesn't have to do it. But He's he able. loves you, and so he wants to do more for you. There's more. He does everything by his power that is working in us. But he needs us. He needs our physical bodies to do the work in. So yeah. we have to make ourselves available. Give him glory in the church, in yeah. the church, and at home, you're the church. Yeah, come on. And in Christ Jesus, give him glory through all time, forever and ever. Amen. I know that was really long, but I wanted you to get the full gamut of this promise. And, and, he, and in that promise, within this passion, it's so important to realize that this is a daily life Thing. This isn't just a when I need something. It's this is daily that we need to be living in the promises of God. And we need to lift our eyes higher and dream bigger and yeah. go deeper yeah. into the unending capacity of the one who saved us and set us free. Yeah, come on. So no matter what you have experienced or are experiencing right now, I want to declare to you on the come other on. side of that screen. <laughs> On the other side of his, of this triumph, there is more. There's more. So maybe maybe things are going good for you right now. There's more. That's right. On the other side of that failure, there There's is more. more. And yeah. I don't mean more failure. I just mean that God is going to do more in your life through that failure. Yeah. On the other side of sickness, of There's COVID, more. hello. There's more. <laughs> there is more. Yeah. No more COVID, we yeah. hope. But there is more promises of healing on the other side of sickness, yeah. on the other side of, of your mountain, that wall that you feel you've hit, and you're like, I, I don't know where to go from here. There is There's more. more. Yeah. On the other side of that heartache, there is more. Yes, yeah. the pain will go away. It will get easier. It will get better. On the other side of this earth, yeah. There is more, Good thank Lord. God. Because <laughs> sometimes this earth could be ratchet. Yeah. So knowing that there is more, that eternity is, is on the other side of all of this, is such a wonderful promise to hold on to and to help you get through. I want you to know that nothing in the kingdom of God, nothing that you go through gets lost. Wow, it's so not good. wasted. So good. If you feel unsure or unsteady, lost or overlooked or simply need to be reminded again let me be the one to tell you he sees you yeah he sees you right now i see you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows you better than you could ever know yourself so good and he waits with open arms available with anything you need so today let me assure you that you are adopted into the family of god an yeah. heir an heir is, is a, a prince, a, a princess, a queen, a king. You are an heir to this kingdom of unending, to the kingdom of God, to an unending throne yeah. and an inheritance that will outlast space unending and supply. time. Yeah, Your on. portion is exceedingly, abundantly, above anything you can think, ask, or imagine. So good. That means that, that even just the little plans that we have, God wants to do so much more. Yeah. And it may not come in the package that you're expecting. Yeah. There's more that he wants to teach you in the, in the hard times, in the difficulty. There's more that he wants you to receive and experience. Yeah. Not just like Pastor Adam said, not just in material things, but in something that's going to get you deep down inside and grow you inside, not on the outside. And so I have this challenge for you. I want you to start living life 
with expectancy. That's good. Yeah, I mean, so good. We, we wake up in the morning and it's like, oh well, same humdrum kind of thing. No, let's wake up in the morning and say, God, what let's are you go. gonna do today? Let's go. What is gonna do, what is gonna happen in my life today that can glorify you? How are you going to use me? Live life with expectancy. So steep yourself into his promises. I love this word steep because I, re- I think of tea. And how does tea work? A tea bag is put into a really hot cup yeah, of water. Wow, and good. it may not feel good, but it, pour, it, it pulls out all of the finest yes. flavors that are in so the good. tea. And so steep yourself in his promises and travel the road. This is a, this is a doozy of obedience. Mm. Nobody likes to hear that because it means that God requires something of us. Yes. And there, in order to receive these promises, he can give them to us, but he wants to see that, we're, that, that there's something we want to do for him, that we want to honor him, that we want to glorify him. So there, there is obedience that needs to happen in our lives to Christ with our eyes wide open to every facet of his faithfulness. So make more. I want you to make more room for others. I want you to make more space for God because he is going to do so much more in that space for you. So thank you so much for the privilege of sharing with you guys. And um, I I just, can I pray? Can I pray us out? Yeah, yeah, let's let's pray. Look, look, here's the challenge. Here's what we're, we're saying. Yeah. Is that that for ten months? Yes. <laughs> for maybe it's not even ten months. I don't even no, know. No, it's keep saying 10 it, months. It, no, it's actually a year. We are going to be coming up on a year of COVID. It, it would have been <laughs> so easy just to throw in the towel. Yeah. Just yeah. to quit. Yeah. And maybe you've been there. And I love the challenge that you gave us. Mm-hmm. Live, live the day with live expectancy. Live life with expectancy. Live. What what do you what do you, what are you expecting? That's right. He, here's what we're expecting. Yeah. We're expecting to move into this next season with you. Yes, come on. And be better, <laughs> be stronger. Yep. Make a bigger impact yes. than we ever have before. Yes. Yes. So yeah, Amen. please, Pastor, pray for us. Amen. Amen. Send us out. We we we're challenging you this morning. Look, maybe maybe you, you you've been walking with the Lord for a long time and, and you're ready to go and you're fired up on the other side I know mm-hmm. Leslie got me fired up and you're saying let's go let's go maybe you're saying I don't I don't even know I, I don't know what my walk with the Lord looks like I don't know what my relationship with the Lord looks like this is your moment yeah today's your day this is your moment don't let this moment pass you by without doing something about it yeah there is more there is an immeasurable portion um, that God wants to, to do in you. And so let's let's just pray there is more. So Father, we thank you um, for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the more. God, we're gonna we're gonna say thank you for the more that you are blessing us with. And Lord, that may not, that doesn't necessarily mean material things, Lord God, but for the more that you're gonna do in our life, for the more strengthening you're gonna do in our life for um, the more courage you're going to give us in our life, for the more um, wisdom that you're going to give us in our life through our trials and through our triumphs, Lord God. We just thank you for what you're going to do in United Church and how you're going to use each and every person that has decided they want more of you in their life, how you're going to use them in our church, in in our family, in this community, Lord God. We just thank you for all that you are doing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And we never want to leave end a service without giving you an opportunity to, to know this Christ, this, this Jesus Christ that we're talking about. And maybe you don't understand um, what we're, we're talking about, but um, we, we want to pray. We want to pray with you and um, ask Christ into your heart. So, Pastor, will you? The Bible us? says in Romans that it's very easy if you believe it, if you believe in your yeah. heart and you confess with your mouth, you can and you will be saved. Yeah. And Jesus is the one way to heaven. We don't get to heaven by being a good person. Yeah. We get to heaven by having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. So, so right now it's really simple. You can just repeat after me. If you don't have a relationship with Christ, you don't know where you stand, or you you just need to come back home. You need to make that decision this morning and then connect with us. Yeah. Don't make the decision and then just drop off and go on. Make the decision and then connect with us and we'll give you clear next steps. 
We want to wrap our arms around you. We yes. want to love you. So yes. pray with me just like this. This is all you have to say. Jesus, I give you my life. Jesus. I ask you to be Lord and Savior of my life. I ask that you would forgive all my sin, that you would cleanse my heart, Lord God, that you would cleanse my mind. I surrender to you this day in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. If you prayed that prayer, the Bible actually says that all of heaven is rejoicing with you. And guess what? So are we at United Church. Come on, somebody. <laughs> We love you. Don't feel like you just need to drop. Don't drop off. It's the worst decision that you can make. Yeah. Stay on. Connect with somebody. Ask somebody. All you got to do is say, write in the comments, I prayed the prayer. Say, I prayed Amen. the prayer, and one of our team will respond to you. We love you guys. Don't run out of, run out of here. We got yes. some information There's coming more. up. There's more. There's <laughs> more. Love you guys. God bless you. Oh, Come on, somebody. It was, it was so good to yeah. do that together. It's fun to, it's fun to, to preach together, to talk together. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff, right? A lot of stuff we impact today. A lot of things are happening. Come on, I'm so excited. So many things are happening. God is on the move. And like, like we said, like let's say, we, 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 there's more. There's more for you. There's more for me. Yeah. So let's get after the more. It's what the more is for. Amen. Come on, somebody. It's what the more is for. So let's get after it. We'll have some emails coming out over the next couple of days, letting you know next steps, how you can connect. Mm -hmm. Don't even wait for the email. Come on, somebody. Yeah, just reach Don't out. even wait for the re email. Reach out to us. If you've been a dream team or you've been on the dream team, you know how to connect with us. You know how to get in touch. Say, hey, I'm ready. I'm, I'm all in. I want to be part of everything, every opportunity, whether it's just virtually, online, or in person. However you want to step up. But here's the thing. Here's the big takeaway from today. Step up. You have to take the first step. You got to take the first step. So we're excited to do it. We're going to continue to worship with our giving. There's yeah. there's some folks that they have the gift of giving. They they can't physically serve or or they're not in a place where they could phys physically serve, but their giving makes a huge, huge difference in the ministry, right? And yeah. how we get things done in yeah. paying rent and, and paying bills and being generous in the community. Like you heard today, we're going to be doing a continuous outreach. We're going further faster than we ever have before and your giving makes a big difference. So, so it's it's a spiritual discipline. God, God's called us. He requires us yeah. to give our first and our best, right? You heard me talk about it. So we, we want you to participate in it with us. If you've never given before, we want you to try it. Test it out. Test it out. There's no better time to give than when you're in need because God blesses a need. So we love you. We're so grateful. Let me pray for us yeah. and we'll get going. Father, thank you for uh, the opportunity to give, to to sow back into your kingdom, to sow seeds of faith. We ask, Lord God, that you would stretch every penny, every resource, every dollar, Lord God, to go further, faster than ever. We love you. We're so thankful for you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. Come on, church, let's give together. Let's celebrate giving. We'll see you guys next week. Super excited. Come on, let's get going, United Church. We love you guys. We're better united. united.